spoken at great length about Mother Earth. And one of the speakers who've influenced me a lot in their writing, probably a lot of you know as Chief Seattle. And Chief Seattle spoke in 1854, and here is part of his message. Every part of the earth is sacred to my people. Every shining pine needle, every sandy shore, every mist in the dark woods, every clear and humming insect is holy in the memory and the experience of my people. The sap which runs through the trees carries the memory and experience of my people. We are part of the earth and it is part of us. The perfumed flowers are our sisters. The deer, the horse, the great eagle, these are our brothers. The rocky crests, the juices in the meadows, the body heat of the pony, and man all belong to the same family. The shiny water that moves in the streams and rivers is just not water, but the blood of our ancestors. You must remember that the land is sacred, and you must teach your children that it is sacred, and that each ghostly reflection in the clear water of the lakes tells of events in the life of my people. The water's murmur is the voice of my father's father. The rivers are our brothers. They quench our thirst. The rivers carry our canoes and feed our children. You must remember to teach your children that the rivers are our brothers and yours and you must henceforth give the rivers the kindness that you would give any brother. You must teach your children that the ground beneath their feet is the ashes of our grandfathers so that they will respect the land. Tell your children that the earth is rich with the lives of our kin. Teach your children <coughs> What we have taught our children, that the earth is our mother. The beautiful river that flows behind us is that St. John River. In the language of my people, we call that Wulastaguk. And Wulastaguk literally translates for us the good river. Because that good river was our transportation route. Within the waters were the fish that fed us. On the shores were the plants that our people harvested for food. And on the banks of that river were where a lot of my people had their encampments and where many were buried. So the river for me is a very spiritual river. It's a gift from the Creator. It's not a river that's created by humanity. It was there since time immemorial. I don't want to give too somber a message for your celebration here this evening. But I think it's important, even in the midst of celebration, in the midst of recognition of the work that has been done by others before you and for the benefit of generations to come. For the benefit of that little child whose voice we hear tonight so that 